Welcome back to our Dream of the Woods. Uh, it's officially spring feeling out here. It's still, we're still getting some cold mornings, but uh, we got a nice sunny day out here. Essentially all the snow is gone um, and things are drying up. Uh, still got quite a few puddles out there on my tarp. Um, wait for the ice to go off of that and then uh, that's ready to be disassembled. Um, on the agenda today is just um, today and tomorrow just uh, various projects. Uh, Sam and I were already out here, my brother, and we um, reorganized two of the lumber stacks. So um, come out there and show you. So we got all the 12 foot material in this lumber bunk and we still have to mill up some six by 10 by 12s and so uh, I think we need 12 all together so then we'll go up three more rows which leaves plenty of room on that uh, lumber bunk for that. Um, this is all essentially 10 foot material and we made that so everything's supported nice um, and nothing is unsupported and this one's closed and it's plenty tall. It's about probably five feet tall and so that's enough and and so this one's complete so after i get the tin on i won't have to touch that until we're ready to start pulling timbers as far as additional projects we're going to try to start doing some spring cleaning around here uh, this massive pile of slabs there uh, i have several people that want to get firewood out of that and then some another uh, family that wants some slabs for siding um, and so, but I want to get that out of there because we're going to start working there shortly. So that needs to move. Um, the cedar logs need to move. Uh, kind of panning around here. Uh, this is the burn pile and we'll probably torch that off this weekend. Three more dug fir logs that need to be sawed, but that needs to be moved away. Uh, those are s slabs off that ponderosa. Someone's going to come get that today. Uh, there's six logs there that need to be moved. That's the, the pile of slabs there that um, are going to be for siding. Um, so they're going to pick through those and see what they want. The ponderosa that needs to be sawed behind that. Uh, those are all the reject logs in that pile that are going to be firewood logs. So anyway, move stuff around. Uh, we also have, while it's still wet and we're going to burn, we have some cleanup to do. Um, and so Eric and I are going to work on that also this weekend. So start moving some items around and preparing. Well, moving all the slab wood wasn't too, too bad. Quite a few trips, uh, not a lot of Jenga block moving around, um, but some manual stuff to that. Uh, quite a bit of snow underneath there got stuck. So I decided that wait for that to melt out before I grabbed the last little bit. Um, or someone can cut, cut firewood out of that when they come out. So, uh, Good there, I don't know, probably 80% of it gone, maybe a little bit more. Uh, still real muddy here where the sun hasn't gotten to it, uh, but everything else is holding up pretty well. So this pile here is all kind of small uh, slab wood that I kind of deem not worth uh, collecting for firewood and I'm just gonna burn. So. I think I'm going to try to get that going today. Uh, it is green, but once it starts, it'll burn hot and fast with all that small stuff. It's almost like kindling in there for a bonfire. So hopefully I can get that going. Uh, two little tricks for that. 
All right, two secret weapons, or not secrets, I guess, but uh, a brush flamethrower thingy and a battery uh, blower. Uh, both those are handy. I could put some diesel on here, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, we'll see if I can get it going with just with these two items. So let's get to it. All right, that is, uh, we only ran the, the blower there for oh maybe five minutes or so, but it looks like it's taken and should go. We don't necessarily need it to burn any faster than it is. So uh, get this, keep this thing going and watch it. I think Eric and I are gonna start doing some cleaning and Maybe fall on a few trees that need to be taken out yet. So let's get back to it. All right, fire's going good. Uh, gonna fall a couple trees. This is the nicest or the biggest one of the ones we're gonna fall. We got this one that just is in the way, and the septic drain field is gonna go right here. And then there's two dug fir that are dead there that just died. They're gonna go and then. We're going to work on a clump of dead lodgepole pine that are there. So anyway, not not doing a lot of logging this year, but uh, just more cleaning and maintenance, I guess.
Yeah, it's next day. That's Eric. We've been focusing on harvesting some dead standing, dead down uh, trees and see if we can get some saw logs out of them. So we cut some up the length this morning and uh, Eric is sneaking them out of the woods with that skid steer. So fire is burnt down really well. Uh, so that's a nice spot for it. So we'll continue to kind of add to that spot um, as we go for stuff that we need to burn. So beautiful day, full on spring. And look what I have on the mill. Big old sucker, another ponderosa pine, uh, 16 footer. And expect to get some good blue out of that. Uh, I can do, I can tell that it has a twist. I don't know if you can see that twist there. It's not, it's kind of a gradual, but it de definitely has a twist to it. Um, so the one by material will be good to cut out of this. So I just got the saw geared up. I actually think I might go back to the house and get some pine saw to add. I, I definitely was getting the gummy blade on that last uh, Ponderosa. So add a little pine salt to it and get get to it. Well, I got the first face opened up. Um, again, just a big old ponderosa pine. Uh, as you kind of get, most of the blooming happens to the outside of the log. So now as we kind of get to the inner part of the log, um, a little less bloom, but some nice on the outside. So I was struggling a little bit and I don't know if it's the blade. I, I put one of the resharps on that was not a ripper and Kind of getting a little bit of waviness there, uh, just having to go slow. Um, so I think at this point, I'll pull the log off and flip it and uh, keep going here. The cutoffs are heavy enough that they don't go to the ground that easily. Um, so I need to kind of figure something out, kind of especially as I'm working out here by myself. but. Uh, um, those are some big old slabs. Most of this here is about 23 inches wide. Um, so I'm looking for one by tens. Um, so even if I could, I mean, this, this got a kind of a banana, banana shape to it. I couldn't cut two one by tens out of this log if I could, um, just cause my, the saw capability isn't there. Um, so, but I can get some one by threes, which is the batten part of the board and batten. So um, I'll start targeting those on these bigger slabs. So yeah, um, keep at it. I'm just opening up the second half of this log and um, it's been pushing kind of hard uh, but then after looking at this uh, I don't know if you can see how wavy that cut is but uh, I put a resharp on here so it's not a ripper and I think I'm already needing to change it out so 
Not sure whether to put this one aside and call it into life or put another sharp on it, but um, pretty wood, but that's a little too wavy and pushing hard at the same time. Definitely time for a blade change out. So I want to cut a one by 10 out of that piece. That ha that's the mate to that cut there. Um, and I think I still will. Uh, pretty stuff. All right, so I did a blade change. You can tell when it hits a knot of that density and size, it just struggles a little bit. That That's... I think to be expected. Uh, otherwise, um, night, much better cut, much easier to push. Um, good looking stuff. So uh, even though that was a fresh blade at the beginning of the slog, uh, and I just was kind of like putting, I could tell it was pushing hard. I just was like, oh, I want to finish this whole log with that one blade, but wasn't the case. And I guess the other thing you got to think about on a log of this size is that it equals two or three smaller logs, four smaller logs with the amount of uh, material that's here. Uh, the other thing that's happening is sawdust wise, one pass, one bucket. So it's not a full five gallon bucket, but it produces a ton of uh, sawdust with when it's something this wide. So anyway, I got a couple more flitches to take off. Um, getting that piece down to 10 inches and then we'll rotate and zip 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 make some one by tens and some one by threes so just a beautiful day out here Well, the slabs are all taken off, I think, three, six, seven, eight, and there's actually one more on the skid steer, so nine slabs to edge. Um, this is cut down to a 10 inch piece, so now I'll flip that up with the winch and then get a flat surface and then bam, bam, bam. Be cutting uh, one by tens. Um, be curious to see how many I get out of this one. Uh, I think on average it's going to average about 20, 21 inches wide down through there. Um, so we'll see. Eh, you don't know with the crook and how the other side looks, but I mean, there's a possibility of getting. 18, 19 boards out of this, this one piece right here, so. All right, got that big cant, whatever. I don't think it's quite called a cant yet, but the 10 inch center section flipped up. Uh, winch does good. I think that's appropriate amount of weight to do that. No problem. Um, you kind of do a little Jenga blocks to get that up. And some people have asked me why I use this and just don't put the, the stop directly in there. One, I'm trying not to mark up the wood, but that's a minor thing. I think that you get more pressure over the whole thing, uh, with the four by four in there, uh, especially uh, gap in two bunks um, that could be totally false it just kind of feels like you do these have been used a lot so they're dense um, this is soft wood so when you put the log stop in there or the log clamp um, it makes a dent and then it, it just isn't as hard of uh, wood so that might be a waste of time I don't know 
um, but we've been doing it and it seems like we're, we're convinced that it does anyway. So, and then we got nice tight square surfaces on the back there. So, um, again, got a lot of fiddling around with a log this size, but uh, once you get to this point, it'll zip, zip, zip pretty fast. So, kind of the fun part. I mean, I'll take that, take that down to take all that outer wood off and then probably take five or so off the top and then flip it um, and do the same thing. Um, and then these slab pieces are actually too big to even lift for me. So I'll have to skid steer everything, all those pieces up onto the uh, lumber deck here so time consuming but hopefully worth it I just pulled this first board off, so the first one by 10. Uh, there is a knot right there, and then the rest of the board is clear. So, uh, this black back end, that's maybe a little bit too much bluing. I see some wormholes there, um, but that's a sweet looking board. Uh, you can see that twist that we were talking about at the beginning, um, how the bluing twist there uh, kind of expected that out of this log. So I'll take that board and who knows how many more I'll get. Um, great looking stuff. One of, I'm guessing, maybe 25 out of this tree, maybe a bit more.
I'm getting ready to take the outer piece off of this now. That seems like a kind of a big bite there, but when you come down and measure the side, um, comes the 13 and 3 8 is the lowest spot, just like somewhere in here. Um, and so you could cut to 13 and 3 8, but really, to maximize your time, you want to cut off of this gray chart. So I need to cut to under 13 on that 12, and then that means I can get 12 boards off of that cant, and everything should be bam, bam, bam. So all the next cuts I don't have to measure, I just have to measure to that line on the gray. And then that'll add to those boards down there. So that's seven plus 12. So 19 just off of that center piece. And then I have all those to edge. So it's taking a while, but a lot of production as far as how many boards I'm getting. Kind of sweet how those boards all run together. And you can kind of see the saw lines there at the end. Six boards there already cut. Well, this is the log that never ends. Um, so down to the final six boards on here um, to make sure on mine, especially that I have the little shorties in place. And then uh, when I'm cutting down to one inch material, it's always good to have weight on top. And so I'll leave all those boards uh, stacked on there um, as I'm cutting. So that I, when I get down to this special, the final two cuts here, that I have the weight of that, uh, those boards above it, to kind of keep it in place. So anyway, uh, six more boards there. Uh, I'm going to have to start a new stack um, after that. So <laughs> it's a lot of boards.
made it. Um, geez, I just counted those. I think there's 19 there. Um, three, six. Yeah, I think that's 19. <laughs> uh, so it's nice that they fit because now I don't have to worry about where to put an extra board. So I'll switch gears, um, edge, start edging these. Um, we have five, six, seven. Looks like we have up to 10 of those. So, geez, almost 30 boards if it all works out. So big log, big yield, time consuming. <laughs> Let's get to edging. Well, believe it or not, these are the small slabs or flitches. So I'll do those three together and this uh, narrow one uh, uh, by itself. So I got the Mongos up here. Um, there's four of them. Now the wrestling match is going to be to get those vertical and pinned against those log stops. Yeah. <laughs> um, gonna try to get some, so only be able to cut one, uh, one by 10 out of there, even though I'm sure I got way more than 20 inches. Yeah, there's 20. Um, so that's a uh, capability of the saw is I can't cut that into two 10 inch boards. And that's because of the girth or whatever this measurement is here. Um, is only a little over seven, I think. Or seven inches. Yeah, only seven inches there. So, but I can get some uh, one by threes and those will be the battens and if I can get several layers of that be good try to utilize this board as this log as much as possible Well, that's it. That's the final cut on this log. Uh, I have been 
working on this log continuously. So, for I think seven hours straight, um, it, it's taken all day. <laughs> um, so, one by threes, I have looks like maybe three plus eight, so 11 of those, and then three more one by tens there. Added to six, so nine plus 19 is 25. I think that's right. Uh, yeah, there's six there, three, nine. Better get that right. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 16, 18, 19. Yeah, so my mind isn't working. 19, 20, 28. Yeah, <laughs> 28. All right, my mind, I must not be, I must be tired. So 28, uh, one by tens out of that log. Um, and then, uh, what do they say, 11 or so, uh, one by threes. Um, solid log, uh, those one by tens are still heavy, just a ton of moisture in those. Um, so, but I need to get those put, put away and buttoned up. I gotta go to work tomorrow. On Friday, I have someone coming out, um, from a... Uh, a local company so is you know, maybe like a hundred miles away from here. They're coming in and they're gonna we're gonna look at some accessories for the sawmills. Um, so I'm excited to have them out and uh, see what they have to offer. Um, I have one other thing. Uh, that time lapse is going the whole time. It just, the battery just ran out, and so I wonder how many times I went back and forth scraping sawdust. Uh, it's a constant thing, back and forth, back and forth, cleaning those boards up. And I do that uh, to get the sawdust stuff so um, it doesn't absorb moisture and doesn't mold on the surface of those uh, boards. And so I think it's important. Uh, I spent a lot of time doing it and lots of back and forth, uh, but I'm wondering how many times I went back and forth today. Um, so I don't know if Beth will count for me, uh, but if she does, uh, it'd be interesting to see how many times I went back and forth. Uh, appreciate you watching. I gotta get to work here before it gets too dark, getting everything buttoned up and put away. And we'll see you in the next video. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe and continue to comment. We, we like to feel like we're getting to know our, our viewers back and forth uh, with comments. So, see you at the next video. Have a great night. Mm -hmm.